So, you're considering enrolling your 6th through 12th grade student in Jessamine County Schools Virtual Learning Academy, or VLA for short. But what exactly is virtual learning, and how is it different from the traditional classroom experience? Virtual learning started in response to the COVID-19 pandemic as an option for families who did not yet feel safe returning to in-person learning. During this time, we found that a certain population of students thrived in this self-guided virtual environment compared to traditional in-class learning. To better meet the educational needs of those students, Jessamine County Schools founded the Virtual Learning Academy, an approach to public education geared towards those students who thrive in a self-guided digital learning environment whose best method of learning is not met through in-person instruction. So, what characteristics should your student possess to succeed in this model? And what is expected of parents? Students in the Virtual Learning Academy should be self-motivated, independent, perseverant, organized, initiative takers, particularly in regards to seeking help when they may need it, and have demonstrated some prior success or potential for success in a virtual learning environment. For 6th through 12th grade students in the Virtual Learning Academy, students will be responsible for attending the mandatory bi-weekly meetings with their teachers, seeking out tutoring and teacher assistance when needed, and staying on or ahead of schedule with their self-guided assignments and coursework. You, the parent or guardian, will be responsible for assisting the student in adhering to their schedule, monitoring student progress and assignment completion, ensuring your student attends all scheduled sessions, communicating and responding to teachers and staff members, and ensuring reliable access to technology. It is especially important as the parent or guardian to keep close tabs on your child's progress. While teachers will regularly check in and motivate students to the best of their ability to complete assignments and stay on schedule, the physical separation of virtual learning can create situations where it is much easier for a student to shy away from their coursework and fall behind. Ensuring that your student is on task and on schedule is critically important as a parent of a VLA student. So what would virtual learning look like for your student? Unlike distance learning during the pandemic, the Virtual Learning Academy does not consist only of meeting via video conference for the duration of the school day. It is instead a combination of student-teacher meetings, self-guided assignments, and one-on-one -on -one tutoring, all based around a digital learning platform called Apex Learning an online computer-based program that provides access to videos, tutorials, explanations, and practice activities for the courses in which your student is enrolled. For secondary students in the Virtual Learning Academy, assignments and coursework are released in two-week intervals. Your student will meet with each of their course instructors virtually at least once during each two-week period, as well as with their advisory teacher. Meetings with their course instructors are used to plan and map out learning targets and objectives for the period, review course content, answer student questions, and address any struggle areas. The meetings with their advisory teacher are utilized for state-mandated testing, various student services, and for emotional and social wellness-related activities. While these meetings are mandatory, they do not count towards attendance. VLA coursework for secondary students is considered performance-based, meaning that students must pass each course in which they are enrolled to receive their attendance credit. In most cases, failing just one course can result in immediate truancy. The majority of your 6th through 12th grade students' time will be spent completing assignments through the online platform. These assignments will include readings, video tutorials and explanations, practice activities, and other assigned coursework. As mentioned, Two weeks of assignments will be unlocked at a time. Students are free to work on assignments when desired during the day, but should expect to work on average seven hours a day, five days a week, an equivalent workload to an in-person student. Your sixth through 12th grader in the Virtual Learning Academy will have three primary ways to receive tutoring and assistance with their coursework. In the mornings on Mondays through Thursdays, teachers will be available to students for drop-in tutoring and assistance through a virtual help desk. In the afternoon, students can schedule appointments with teachers for one-on-one -on -one tutoring and assistance. As well as these, the Academic Centers for Enrichment, or ACE Labs, at both East and West High are available to all secondary students participating in the Virtual Learning Academy. It is important to note that for secondary students, the Virtual Learning Academy works in parallel with your child's home school. Your student will still be an East or West student, just like an in-person student 
and many student services such as counseling, scheduling, student IDs, etc. will still be managed by your student's home school. As such, students of the Virtual Learning Academy are still able to participate in after-school athletics and extracurricular activities and clubs taking place at their home school. VLA students are also permitted to take band, choir, and JCTC courses in person. Lastly, VLA students are permitted and encouraged to attend important in-person events at their home school, such as student service days, cap and gown meetings, or picture day. There are a few other important things to note about the Virtual Learning Academy. Enrollment is semester-based, meaning that if accepted into the Academy, your student must complete the entire semester with the Virtual Learning Academy and cannot return to in-person instruction until the following semester. Your student must have access to a reliable device with a webcam and microphone, such as a Chromebook, laptop, desktop computer, or tablet, but not a smartphone, that will allow them to create, complete, and submit projects and assignments. If more than one student in your home will be enrolling in VLA, then each student must have access to their own device. If needed, Jessamine County Schools can issue a device to your student via a signed contract agreement. Finally, your student must have a reliable, high-speed internet service to participate, one with the ability to stream high-quality videos without buffering. If more than one student in your home will be enrolling in the Virtual Learning Academy, then the internet service must be able to support all students being online simultaneously. Jessamine County Schools is unable to provide internet service to you. Jessamine County Schools is excited to be able to offer this new style of education to our students. If you're ready to apply to enroll your student or simply have more questions about the Virtual Learning Academy, visit jessamine.kyschools.us slash news slash VLA dash registration.